questions? Sure, yeah, you can ask me as many questions as you want while I'm here. I wanted to ask you, what's your philosophy on performance? My philosophy is that it is a language. <laughs> Malini Paris is what I have a website and, and I teach under Malini Paris. My mother was a music teacher, so I, I was, uh, I played, uh, I thumped on the piano as soon as I could walk or reach the keys to make noise, but that was that. <laughs> I think we had a good life. We had a lot of hope, everything was on the, on the upbeat. It was going up. I've been able to go through so many different countries and I didn't speak their languages. Um, maybe a couple of German words, a couple of... I spoke bad French. Uh, uh, but I was able to play with condu conductors in all these countries. Some of them never spoke English because the music itself is a language and the idea that I've always had is that I've got a person who I have a responsibility to the composer to communicate his thoughts and his ideas to someone else. I'm the conduit. I'm just conducting, conducting one person's thoughts and passions, uh, philosophies and pain and joy to other people and hoping that they will be able to understand that person and channel it through me and I have a terrible responsibility. When you were 12? Yeah, I started performing before but my big recital was when I was 12. I had a very good teacher, um, a woman called Miss Alex Coburn. Very, uh, very, uh, she, she's really encouraging, encouraged performance. And um, without her, I don't think I would have ever performed, given a 12-year-old recital. And without the 12-year-old recital, I don't think I would have started a career. Wow. So that's uh, basically what started it all. What? You know, I don't, I don't remember being uh, uh, worried about it. I thought it was great fun, you know, an adventure. <laughs> but never stop and give the audience an opportunity to think, hey, he's stopped. Yeah, okay. He's forgotten. That's what you can't allow them to do. Okay. Because you're, fall, you're, you're ruining their trend of thought. Okay. It's not your trend of thought that you're thinking about. List has written something. All right, you've forgotten a note or two of list. Okay, fine. Well, you're cutting off the communication with the person who's listening. So you've got, got to keep going. That's your obligation. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. It's not me that they have to... Uh, that was wonderful Chopin. Uh, I really felt that Chopin. Or oh, I felt like dancing to that piece. Or oh, I felt like crying to that music. Or oh, I felt like hitting someone because I was so damned angry. Or oh, I was... I was like, passionate. Okay, I have done my job. But when they come and tell me, isn't, isn't, aren't you a wonderful pianist? I said, oh, Lord help me, what have I done? <laughs> and that's why I object to the present day generation of people who say, so and so is marvelous. Why? Because he plays fast and loud and everybody says, woo, 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 after a concert and screams their head off. It's like saying, me Tarzan, and slapping my way, me Tarzan, king of the forest, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite a concert. <laughs> yes, you know, you found your breath, found your breath, <laughs> me Tarzan. And I think, God, you know. The person who is playing the instrument is nothing to do. You l learn your trade to be able to communicate better. You are communicating another man and a res terrific responsibility if you are communicating someone who is already dead. 
you're trying to get into his mind what did he feel what did he think what does he want you to say you can't always know that for certain you have heard other people doing it and then have you have your own interpretation then you say well, i think this is my take on what he wants to say i hope that people would like him not me and that's i think the essence of play performing make sense yeah makes sense